You know, this is why I think this game is so unbelievably rich. It's things like this. I've stood here for a little while just listening to this guy guitar uh, playing his lute. Sorry, not guitar playing. Lute playing. And it might be very boring for you to watch, but I'm fascinated with stuff like this. This game is in, in thoroughly enjoyable, utterly addictive, and unfortunately, I don't get to play it very much uh, because I've got a few games on the go at the moment, as some of you already know. But I'm gonna be doing more. There's something in there. I just know it. All right, Lenora. And uh, now I'm, I'm heading that way because we're gonna go to, to herbology class. Something I've been looking forward to doing, actually. Uh, but let's find out what Lenora's talking about. Welcome back, I should say. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. What do you think of my garb, eh? Look at- check me out, man. I, I've, I've disguised what I'm actually wearing, uh, which, which is basically the best gear I can put on at the moment. But I've put it in his, his- he looks like he's from the 14th century. I think he looks absolutely spiffing. Right, um, perhaps I'll have a look. No, let, let's see if she's learned anything about it. This, it's, it's sort of like a black, dark, misty painting. There's got to be a way of revealing it or something like that. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind, but I'm not sure what to do next. Aha! Uh -huh. Lumos! Thankfully, I know how to do that. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Interesting. I will have if a look. I have the so time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Yeah, I bet you I will. So, do come and find me if you stumble on something. How do we do this? Lumos. Oh, I don't have it equipped. Switch out Lumos for my Repero. Uh, hold to reassign. There you go. Okay, let's give this a go. That's not. That's just jumping. Lumos. Ooh. That spot must be a clue. Oh. I should look around in case it's nearby. Oh, I see. So we've got a staircase with sort of a black sculpture-y thing nearby. No, this must be one side of this. It's this place. This looks like the there location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Well, let's let's grab that thing. That's not it. Levioso. Uh, Lumos. Oh, Lumos. There you go. It works. Let's get you back oh, to your frame. Oh, we grab this thing and take it back to the painting. I got it, I got it, I got it. Go on, fly away, little butterfly. How do I, how do I get rid of you? <laughs> oh, I knew there was a connection. A normal curse. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle. Interesting. So we just get a field page guide for it. Ten out of fifteen. Now let's go let the let the lady know what happened. Solved. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Uh, I'm not telling. <laughs> no, come on, tell her. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Wonderful. So now we know what to do with those. There's going to be a few more of them. Like a moth to a frame. I, I was just thinking of using that pun, but the game got there first. A moth to a frame. Beautiful. Anyway, we are going to Herbology. Somewhere down here. I love, the, uh, I, I love this in the games, uh, so let's hope it's as interesting. Oh, why does it always rain on him? You can't Im a new flu flame location. All right, let's do it.
Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Oh, good, good joke. I like that. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <sighs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. <laughs> oh god, no, don't do it. Pull the mandrake. Pull it, tug it as hard as you can, man. <laughs> Quickly, place your mandrake in the new pot and pat down the soil. Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. It's almost so cruel to do it to these things. The amount they scream and cry when they're out of their pots. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Well. That's now, it. Is that it? <clears throat> oh no, we have got to talk. At our potting tables. You can... mm. Okay, I Professor Garlic. Must have terrible breath. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Okay, I enjoyed it. Oh yes. Uh, I nearly went deaf. Yeah, let's just be let's be real. I'll say, nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. <laughs> now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. She keeps uh, <clears throat> planting those puns all around, doesn't she? Let's start this little arrangement. <laughs> Mithras Fancy or Roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a right. vital ingredient Dittany, in the Dittany, Wigan Dittany, well Dittany. potion. As you all should the know, leaves of the medici medicinal cars. herb are used in Wigan Well potion. Uh, the seeds can be purchased at a magic neap and can be grown in pots of any size. We we'll have to go find ourselves a garden then. Oh, ready in ten minutes? What? What do I do now? Well done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wigan Weld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do 
two bite. I don't know whether it's just me or, or like, I mean, because I've seen a couple of videos on, on YouTube, but I haven't watched them all because I don't understand them. Like, hello. Hello. I saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Yeah, okay, just a second. I'm talking here. Yeah, and I've seen a couple of videos, like uh, maybe people going, oh, this is, a, make sure you do this, or this is the best thing to do when you start the game, and, and I've been watching those, a, a couple of them. I, don't, I really not wanted to get too many spoilers in. Like, I don't want to watch anything that's advanced, but I'm watching these beginner-type videos. Like, I haven't even got there yet. I'm, I'm, I'm five episodes in. Five hours in, most likely. And I haven't even start. I, we're still in tutorial mode. But I, uh, the other thing is, though, in, in sort of, in mind of that, there are... Why have we got to go up to go over there? The, the whole Harry Potter world is always about learning something new, so perhaps... Nice work in defense against the Dark Arts, yeah, perhaps Arts, by that's the way. what it is. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian! And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. Where are we going? I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I'm gonna. I mean, I'm just gonna. I know we've got to go over that bridge, but I want to have a look up me. here. There's got to be something. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick: dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Griffin. Oh, that was him. Gone. I see. Actually, I've 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 run across here, but I can just head down. Here we are. Home. Go on. Grab a few of those. Chinese chomping cabbage. Now, see got some. Right, just, oh, just grab it all. Bit. Why not? I suppose I'm going to need this all for potions later on. Ah. Attack the target dummy with a cabbage. Hold L1 and tap R to open the tool wheel. Ooh. Oh, hello. This is brand new. Uh, and assign the Chinese jumping cabbages. What is this up here, anyway? Endurance potion. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, release L1 to equip. Equip it did. And tap L1. Oh. Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. It works pretty well. What happens if I go near it? Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Yeah. It's the kind of food you could eat that will eat your back. I get it. Suppose they could come in handy. Yep, uh, sure, but it's just a dummy. I was imagining it already. Yeah, that's... Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Yes, Leander, let's go back to class. Time. I'll see you back in class. Okay, I'll see you back in class. Okay, we're off to class. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Taking the mic. It's perfectly well spoken. I shouldn't be so rude. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clark. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. It's amazing, isn't it, how much risk they allow the students to take. Like, I suppose it's because they can just instantly heal or repair anything, any damage. Uh, okay, Leander's creeping up behind us. I don't like this guy. Okay, as I am, plants offer so much or don't care much for plants, honestly. I'll just, we'll go with the, buy into it, get her on your side. She might give us some secrets. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Whoa, what's that? Herbology is I told you, a Leander. Subject. It's a total camera to blocker. Garden, and it will tend to you. What's oh. that? Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. All right, Leander, you, you just completely blocked the view of the lovely Professor Garlic there. What a dick. Really relishing their new pots only cost me my... 
around here. Okay, there was somebody here I could talk to. Can I talk to you? Talk to me. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful. I do wonder about Professor All right, now these people really is care. I've got a new quest class? available. What is it? What is it? Was it it? What did it it it? Uh, potions class. Oh, okay, so we've done the herbology. This is basically what I have to do until Professor Fig returns. Uh, the herbology class we've done, we've got to go to potions next. Meet with Natty. Now, that one I'm kind of interested in because uh, she wanted us to go. Oh, where was it? It was somewhere out of the ground. It was somewhere quite different. Where is it? Oh, the girl from Wagadu. Wagadu. Uh, she wants me to meet her at a hamlet called Lower Hogsfield, just south of Hogwarts. I should see what she wants. We will. Let's go to potions class first because that's probably a lot closer. And then we'll go meet the girl from Wagadu. I love that name. About the potions. This is going to be an explosive encounter. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. He's pissed, isn't Before he? Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. I think he's been indulging in a few of his own concoctions. <laughs> okay, potions, potions, wig and weld. So this is the one that we've already been given a few Use of. Use a strong even motion when crushing your ingredients. Oh, I like to crush my ingredients. There we go. I'm a dab hand at this. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Okay, this is... ridiculously easy. That's five drops. Precisely. I suppose it matters how fast I do this. What she said. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Basically, I am brilliant at everything. It's the message, isn't it, that they're trying to give me here. My parents considered keeping me home board? from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Almost three-dimensional. Okay, those are mandrakes that they're sticking in the Okay, I can't I can't bear to watch. The thought of them screaming. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Uh, yeah, but why do you, why do you need to know, Gareth? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Honestly, I've just realised, though, that although I think Sammy here, my character, looks smart, he would just get so beaten up at school wearing stuff like that. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, I can get you the feather. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Oh, sorry. I'll get you the fruit. We're living feather. life as long as your certain shark won't miss it. I assure you, he won't. We're living life on the fruit edge. Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Gotta help out the Weasleys. We know their family survives hundreds of years later. So what, what could go wrong? Mongrel fur? That's horrible. The poor little mongrel. I'll have it though. I'm just gonna steal everything he's got. What is this? Bulgin and Burks. Ah, has an increased amount of activity outside the ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. So, Bur Borgin and Burks has got something dodgy about it. That's a swooper feather. Thank you. I'm just going to rob him of everything I can. What is this? What did I get? 61 coins. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to hell. I love the these candles. Look at that. The Spinal candles. Ashwinder eggs. Very nice. Anything else in Rebellion. here? I heard a ding. I can hear a ding. Oh, it's over there. Not a chance. So yeah, that's something I've also realised. I was just wandering around the, the castle the other night, but as, every time you revelio and you hear a ding, that means you've just revealed something. Uh, but it could be anywhere. It could be above you, below you. So, it's kind of cool. Right, dude, dude, I got your feather. It's just your colour. Here's the whopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Why is he doing it in front of the professor? He's gonna know where you got the feather from. He's gonna get me should in trouble. Drop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Okay, there we go. So, what, what am I doing? Brew potions from unlocked recipes. Yes, that much is clear. And we gotta do this one, Felix Felicis. Enhances, enhances the drinker's chance of success of... Uh, oh, it's a luck potion. Ha! <laughs> uh, the Adjurus potion, this is what we came for. The Ashwinder eggs and the mongrel fur. Oh, damn it, I thought I was thieving, but those were supposed to be collected. Okay, that's the one we want to do. In they go. And they take 30 seconds, so let's chat amongst ourselves. It's kind of cool. Um, can I come back? I can come and back. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What else is in here? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah. Oh god, it's going horribly wrong. Again. Oh, the smell. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Well, I guess that well, was now, completely Mr. pointless Weasley. then. What do we got here? Sorry, Professor. Four coins. One coin. There was a pile there. You lying Again. game. Okay, now we've got this potion. Mr. Weasley the Juris potion do is done. On his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Uh-oh. He knows he knows what happened. Somebody Somebody robbed him. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant though. Okay. Better clean up. I'm going to go you tell the professor that he made me do it. Already. He threatened me. He said he would kill my parents or something. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. It wasn't me. It was the one-armed man. I'm sorry about that. Look, uh, yeah, I just, I guess, fess up. Be honest. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. Yeah, you forgive me next time. today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Ne'er a truer word was spoken. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. 
Rebellion. Yeah, class is dismissed. The potions clerk, clerk, <laughs> potions class quest complete. That's harder to say oh, than it sounds. My robes are going to read Now we only have one more mission that we've got in the bank. Uh, so it's outside the castle somewhere. Let's go to the world map. Um, let me just mark the quest first. This one, the girl from Ra Wagadu, just south of Hogwarts. I should see what she wants. I will see what she damn well wants. All right, let me grab this. Rebellion. You see it, you gotta grab it. A broken broom belonged to Celine Wartnerby and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm. To fellow third years, no one knows if she succeeded. <laughs> she was never to be heard from again. God, she's probably the she's probably in there, isn't she? It's the spirit of it. Oh, gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. All right, we've got a long march ahead of us, and we can't go out that way. Oh, welcome to the outdoors. Now I know you can fly a broom in the game, but I think this is a deliberate lesson of this is how you have to like travel around for now and you will be very very grateful when it changes so i don't know let's just take in the scenery and the backdrop what is that revelio paddle paddle level that say a level on 11. another adventure are we yeah i am um anyone got a quick way of getting there we're going to at least reveal a few things along the way but it's i have to say it's a bit of a damn journey <laughs> Nice that it's all open. You can travel anywhere, I would assume. Gotta gather crap along the way as well. I wish you could... Actually, that's annoying. You should be able to Revelio while running, but he has to stop and cast it. Oh, but what have we found? More coin. Perfect. Now, it's not that far. 300 meters away. Oh, God, but we've got a long, a long drop. And I realised that the map was guiding me up and over that way. I wonder if, I wonder if, I wonder if we can drop down on the waterfall? Well, it's not killing us. Oh, well, Sammy, Sammy Shortbottom's a bit of a swimmer. Can't climb though. This will be uh, going for a little, a little dip. Revelio. You know, waterfalls often have sort of hidden things lying around. It's good that you can do that though. There, there are no boundaries, certainly from what it looks like so far. And we have actually found a faster way to get here than the than the map was taking us. Perhaps though, there were items along the way that would have been good to to have picked up. It don't matter. What is that over there? Hmm, curious, sir, and curious, sir. We do have a check. Whoa, easy now. What is this? Revelio. What do you do? What do you do, and how do we open you? Well, that's not working. All right, let's try this thing. Oh, maybe you have to put this in there. What is that? What is that? What did I just pick up? Hawk lump juice. Jesus. This game, man. So this thing appears to be matching the symbols on this thing. So what do I do? Do I Accio it from here? Accio. I think I'm a genius. Except it didn't work. Did it work? Looks like it would reveal a door if that's the case. Uh... Oh, that looks like we've got to set fire to it. Yes, you legend. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever. Sure. Shut up, danger, danger. Let's save the game. I'm not worried, but let's just save just in case. I'm not worried. I'm not afraid. You're afraid. I think it's the 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 anticipation, knowing how big this game actually gets. It's um, it's getting me. It's getting. It's making me feel all wibbly. Revelio. Right. Oh, okay. It's not that dangerous, dude. Uh, a decorous, casual school uniform. The d 
or decorous, I don't know, decorous, decorous, and a symbol of some kind. But that was it. It was just a chest, and we're done. Revelio. Okay, not now I know that these things are not hazardous and pretty simple. Still got that green thing to worry about. I have no idea what that is. What's that? Leech juice. Wonderful. I suppose you've got to figure out where to get all these ingredients. I hope you don't mind just watching me wander around here aimlessly. More leeches. Quick pickups as well. What are you, who are you and what are you doing here? We are very close to where we need to be. For some assistance. I don't know, Grace Pinch Smedley. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? She's very careful with her sentencing, isn't she? She speaks very slowly. An underwater adventure sounds like fun, but how do I hold my breath? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. I'm going to drown, aren't I? Uh, should I know who your family are? No, don't care. What's an astrolabe? Not sure I'm that bothered, but I'll listen anyway. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. Oh, come off it. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. A model of the universe. Now, I know we live in, we're in a magical world here, in a fantasy world, but do you realise how flipping big the universe is? Uh, I'll have to think about this. No, okay, we'll, 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 we'll do it, but why can't I trigger that? Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand, but I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. Now she's... I'd cross-reference the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. A furlong? She's I do using... hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. Horse racing. As as her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Hold on. Dive in the Black Lake and fight. Well, I suppose I should try, but I feel <sighs> this could be foolish. How can I? How can I breathe underwater? Can I breathe underwater? It's a little bit dark, isn't it? I guess it's getting. I don't know what time of day it is, but it's. It's getting. It's getting late. So if we are going to do this, we've got to do it now. I feel like there's, there's breakwater this around here. There's going to be things. This must be the family astrolabe There's going to be things in this water. I don't like it. Can I... I can't use my Revelio. What does this do? What is this? Oh. We don't get to see? Your gear slots are full? Oh, F off. Headwear. Well, that's a 14. That I don't need. Let's destroy that one. I don't know. I should probably sell these things. 
What did you get? The Midnight Debonair Ensemble. I tell you what. That might well be the better look for this outfit. Oh, come on. That's way better. There we go. All right. Let's check out some of these other spots to search. I hope it's not all gear because I'm going to have to start deciding on what to get rid of. What did you get? Wiganwell Potion. The Pinch Smedley Family Astrolabe. Well, we got it. I should let Grace know that I found her family yeah, astrolabe. Yeah, we will. We will. I thought we were going to be able to swim underwater for a minute there. Sadly not. Curious silver spectacles. Oh, that's stunning. Oh, God. It's got a really weird three-dimensional effect. Oh, that's horrible. Let's see what was down here. Man, this place looks amazing. So there must be a day-night cycle then. Ornate ebony gloves. Do you think all the lakes contain stuff? I don't see any more of these spots on the water. A tartan sunrise scarf. Well, that was thoroughly worth it. Right, let's get back to shore. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. I trust you didn't didn't find it too terribly difficult. I can't count the negatives in that sentence. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? Uh, I did, and I'm keeping it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, have it. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your calibre is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Yeah, already have. Thanks Thank for the tips. Again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Okay, thank you very much. Completed another quest. We are racking them up today. I think I just leveled up as well. Ah, ooh, what's that? How did I do that? Oh, wait. There's a wait button on the bottom right hand side of the screen. It says, wait here to advance time from day to night. Oh, night to day. There is a day night cycle and we can force it. The Pinch Smedleys will always look upon you as a trusted ally and friend. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't, doesn't break the time sequence, but it just changes the... Uh, the look of the world. Oh, I love the look of that in the night time. However, I always play, prefer to play my games during the day. Unless there's a genuine reason to be playing at uh, night time. Looks like we've just invoked the morning sun. Let's get over to our good old friend here. I don't need the Hogwarts grounds marked on my map. Oh, we've got chests. You see what I tell I'm telling you, this game, man. It is good to see you, my friend. It's good to see you too. Just give me a second. There's chests. <laughs> Revelio. Okay, but they're locked. Ooh, not all of them. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Hello, friend. So we got a house elf? No. Is he a house elf? He doesn't look, like, friendly enough. Corkscrew Brown. Oh, those are the, um, the, the wand handles. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Revelio. Okay, I think I need to go and sell ah, some stuff. It is good to see you, my friend. But I think I can do that by going to Hogsmeade and there's a shop somewhere around here. Maybe the clothes shop? Let's try that. All right, we'll fast travel into town. Before you ask, I'm all out of the new socks. So if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. It is good to see you, my friend. You too. Right, well, I've been and done what I said I was going to do. And I got rid of a whole load of crap and I just made some serious cash. I've got about a thousand coins on me now. Some of it I found along the way. But I'm just going to go make sure my... Uh, my gear looks the way I want it to. I think this is if this is actually very useful gear, but it looks really stupid. So I'll be changing its appearance to uh, 
nothing. Thank you. I'm wearing them, so I still got the bonus. It's all good. And we can also put on a verdant hat. Or the smart fedora. Now, I mean, I make them both look good. However, um, I can't bring myself to wear the hat, really. It just doesn't, just doesn't do it for me. So we'll, we'll, we'll go bare, bareheaded. It's got such luscious locks, why wouldn't we? I think we're hot to trot. Let's go. That was just a jump for joy. That's right. That's right. Don't be upset. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Well, I, I, this is the thing I've been toying with, and I, obviously I don't know if this is a good thing or not, but I've got two sort of main friends, Natty and someone else, <laughs> the Slytherin guy, I can't remember his name. I'll, I'll know him when I see him. And he sort of hinted at one of our conversations, you know, you might have to start trusting me because you might need my help and all that. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to start investing trust in these, in these, in these two. They want something that I found, Natty. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I like the sound of it. We've given her some inspiration. Glad to hear it. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I'm on my guard. What was what was that though? So, so I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? Is that me? What's going on here? Oh, the quest complete. The girl from Wagadoo is done. Wagadoo is done. But there is a new quest. This must be the perfect location to have been. I'm glad I did this one last. I suppose this would have always been revealed here after doing the two classes. So let's. They must have find come this way. Out. Think. Ooh. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. A what? Oi! Speak of the devil. What's a doxy's nip? Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be. So <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! You're supposed to aim at the people. Okay. Before you eat. Put me back in there right now. I mean, come on! If you're gonna make it this easy, boys. Oh, 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 
Have some of that. Oh, we turned him into a chicken. What the hell did you see that? Oh, hold oh, on a minute. The light go out of your eyes. I love the suit. Uh, the collection section of your field. I love the way they interrupt the fight here. This is getting tense. The collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as their weaknesses to certain spells. It's like a bestiary from The Witcher. So we've got a few more to turn into chickens. Defeat 10 Dark Wizards. We've done 2 out of 10. Alright. Oh, this one. We need... We need Incendio. Oh, damn it. We've got to wait for it to, to recover. Have one of those then instead. And a barrel. Oh. She's knocked out already. Oh, damn it. I messed up there. Can't incendio him. Accio. Have some of that. I want to... What was that? Um, oh, I keep forgetting to do it when I'm... <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Five out of ten. How are we doing for health? Halfway should be good. I cannot keep my eye on my health bar and the battle at the same time. in such a manner than so close to Hogwarts. We did very well. I thought we both did. Are you are you pleased with my performance? Are you going to tell everybody how brilliant I am and you've never seen anybody quite like this before in your life? Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Told you. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. So yeah, a, a couple of moments in that battle, I realised I needed to use the red spell to defeat the red shield, but I wasn't close enough. I didn't realise you had to be quite close enough to, to use the incendio. But it's so much fun, these combat. I can't wait, and it's going to be way more. Looking forward to playing more of the, uh, the combat situations. Sections. Right, who is Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Research? How interesting. So Priya is her wife. Mm. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. How extraordinary! I thought Merlin was a myth. Oh, do we? I've heard somebody mention in one of those videos I didn't understand something about Merlin's quests. Ah, maybe this is the beginning. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth. <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. Oh, come on. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials yes, of Merlin. this is it. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Merlin was a Slytherin. Oh, my God. I always thought he was one of the good guys. No, I know we always see the Slytherins as evil, but uh, I suppose that's just the, the movies portrayed a few of them to be so. And all the dark wizards, most of the dark wizards came from that house. So you'd think they'd kind of keep an eye on them a little bit better, wouldn't you? Um... Right, fascinating. Definitely. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. 
I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Well, your hypothesis, to be fair, I'm not going to have any credit for I the idea. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Got it. Got it. Getting it. All good. Oh, I wonder if this is, you know, that green it's thing trunk. I found next to the red yes, thing? Yes, <laughs> even if you already... Revelio. Um, I have the mallow suite. It looked like a puzzle that Lovely. we just couldn't solve. Now, notice the vines on these pieces oh. here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Oh. Oh, that was simple. I thought I was going to have to go dive into my inventory and do something, but it just says, use mallow suite. Okay. Using. Disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm. Revelio. This is uncharted uh, territory. I am curious about these pyres. Well, yeah. They probably needs lighting up, right? Incendio. Merlin's beard. Oh, it's gotta be. The flames make the pyre sink. It's gotta be. Come on. There was only three of them, right? Are we done? Well, uh, yes. Uh, the the previous girl was right. I am incredibly good at solving puzzles. <laughs> Just brilliant at everything. How beautiful! Oh, there's a little figurine of Merlin in the middle of there. Day, I can hardly believe it. Oh, he disappears. Oh, how disappointing! Come back. Tell me all about King Arthur. <laughs> I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. You too. Well, we've discovered a couple of secrets. Here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Yeah, a couple of secrets today. The Trials of Merlin quest is completed. It did. And that's only one of many. Now, we know there was another one. Very close by. Let me grab these slug things. Leeches, sorry. Uh, and maybe we should travel back to where that first one was. There's another quest right there. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Nicholas? Why is he Nicholas? Is it wash day? Um, how do I use Mala Suite on this? It's the vines, it's the green circle, though I just not have any on me. Oh, do I have to reveal it first? I don't understand. I know I've got to use it here, but how, I'm pressing square and nothing's happening. I'm trying to think and nothing happens. I don't understand. It's it. I've just looked at the mini map and it said there's another. Oh no, that is it. There's something else. What is going on? There's something up there, but it says there's another Merlin trial over here. Not what I was looking at. It's up here. Let's have a look. I know what that means. Oh, Mine so maybe that other thing is something different. Let's give it a go. It's all about discovering how this game works. Right now, what do we got here? Revelio. That is a different kind of puzzle. I wonder if it's similar to the one we discovered before. Okay, let's uh, Akio that thing over here. Get over here. Yeah. All right, all right. It's 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 it's, it's got a little. There's a little knack to this, isn't there? Oh God, no! That's the wrong way. Maybe. Oh. Oh, is that got to go in the hole at the bottom? Ah, it does. So these things are linked, and it missed. 
but it worked. It done something. It's got rid of the roots here. But now what? Did I did I solve it? Or has it got to sit in there? Akio. Will you will you will you will you come over here? Maybe I got to push it over there. Okay, let's try that. Look at the fair old push. That's that settled. Oh, that was it. Oh, that is that was this this particular. Oh man, I was so stuck thinking that other the hole or the the crater one was the greater one. We are done. So a couple of Merlin trials. We're figuring this out, guys. We got this down. We know everything that we're doing here. Um, thank you for watching. I'm, I guess I'm going to call it a day because it's been an hour and I shouldn't play for too much longer. Um, I'd love to, but it's not good for my health. You know, <laughs> you've got to you've got to watch your screen time from time to time. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I will see you very soon. Um, I'm just going to stand here underneath this beautiful gazebo um, with Hogwarts in the background. We're going to head over to um, speak to Nearly Headless Nick and carry on with the next part of the main story, I guess. I might have a wander around and just try and discover a few things. Um, I think you get the gist of all the side quests that we've discovered so far. If there is anything new, I will make sure I include it in the next episode. Thank you for watching this one and uh, looking forward to the next. Take care. All the best and good night.